Hello and welcome to Yoga with Jaina. So today, in today's video, I want to talk about the subject karma. And the reason that I want to talk about this subject is because last week I taught a meditation and relaxation class and the theme of the session was karma. And we started to talk about this subject and it was really quite interesting. It's quite a big subject. There's a lot going on with it. There's a lot to learn in this subject. So I just wanted to put together a short video just to kind of briefly explain my thoughts and um, my thoughts and opinions on this subject um, and you know you don't have to agree with me completely um, and in fact I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences on the word karma and what it means to you so do write um, about your thoughts and experiences in the comments below I'd love to hear from you um, but basically what I'm sharing like I said is things that I've gone through in my life and the lessons that I've learned about karma um, and also what I've learned through the practice and the study of yoga. I also think that you can also learn a lot from what's happening around you so you don't necessarily need to go through a certain situation to learn um, the lesson that needs to be learned but you can you know using your own wisdom your own intuition you can learn from what people are going through around you or just what the world is going through in general. Um, so basically what I'm sharing here, like I said, is my own thoughts and experiences on karma um, and what I've learned and studied and practiced in yoga. So karma is this idea that karma is, first of all, it's a universal law and it's this idea that every action has a reaction. And not only does every action have a reaction, but every thought has a reaction too. So, for example, if you do lots of good things, um, good actions, it means that good things will happen to you. Um, and we're not really in control of when these good things are going to happen or how they're going to happen. It's all really just down to the universe. Um, but likewise with thoughts, if you have lots of good positive thoughts, then good positive things are going to happen to you. If you're quite negative and you're in a negative frame of mind, then negative things are going to happen to you. So it's really this idea of things having a chain reaction. And like I said, we're not really in control of it. It is a universal law. So it comes down to the universe really deciding what experiences we need to go through. But they are governed, the experiences and the situations that we go through are governed by our past actions. And when we can really start to accept our karmic consequences, it becomes easier to deal with the situations that we're going through in life. Um, and you really start to become accountable for your life. Um, and it's just, things just become easier. So when you're going through a difficult situation, when you know that it's down to your own karmic consequences, you can start to accept the situation and embrace the situation and learn the lessons that you need to. Now, sometimes when we go through something, we may be able to see the result of the karma straight away. So the whatever action we may have done, we may see the result, the karmic consequences of that action. But sometimes we may not see, we may not even understand what why something is happening to us and we might question we might ask like you know I'm a really good person why am I going through this situation um, but like I said when you can really start to accept that you know something may have happened in the past and it may not just have happened in our past in this lifetime but it may be even in lifetimes before so if you really believe in reincarnation and that we have been through lifetimes before, you can really start to understand that sometimes we need to go through certain things within this life to learn the lessons that we need to. Um, now, obviously, like I said, you might question it. You might say, why am I going through this thing? And when that happens, this idea of blame might start to rise and we might start to end up blaming other people for the situations that we're going through. We might start to blame ourselves. Or we might start to blame something higher and 
something beyond us and if you believe in God or a higher spirit or even just your higher self. Now we really don't want to fall into this place of blame. First of all blaming other people is definitely not good for your relationships with other people. Blaming yourself is really not good because you really don't want to um, do that to yourself because it can create other other scenarios within your life which um, become harder to manage and harder to deal with um, and you can really start to beat yourself up about things um, and not feel so good about yourself which is really not what we want to do um, especially with the practice of yoga we really want to accept ourselves to love ourselves to be compassionate towards ourselves and this is where the practices like meditation and relaxation can really allow you to embrace yourself and where you can really start to accept the decisions that you may have made in your past. Um, and this is why your meditation and relaxation is so important and so vital to your practice. You know, every day when you get onto your yoga mat and you do either your yoga asana, you do your physical practice, or if you're doing your meditation and your relaxation too, not only are you working on your physical body or even just your, your prana and your breath, but you're also working to clear your karma and to really start to let go of things that may have happened in the past and really come to a place where you can accept where you are and to accept the situations that you're going through. And I really believe that whatever situation you're going through in life is there because the universe wants you to go through this situation um, because it gives you, it serves you the lessons that you need in order to grow spiritually and to grow and allow your soul to develop. So whatever you are going through in your life, if you can just embrace it and just start to become aware of the personal lessons that you need to learn, it will really allow you to just move through the situation with ease. Um, and then if you are going through good times and you're going through times where you're just receiving lots of positive things, then that's really the time to embrace it, to be present to it, to feel it and to accept it, to accept that you deserve this and that because of your good karma and your good work in the world, you are you know receiving all this joy and all these amazing things so really i guess what it comes down to is just accepting that sometimes in life we go through ups and downs and we can't really avoid it we have to go through these things um, and there are always lessons to learn along the way and when you can really start to just step into a place of being um accepting of the situation and when you can just embrace whatever life is throwing at you um you can really start to move into a place of inner strength and i think that is the key thing that you just want to be in a place where you can handle any situation that comes to you and to continue to go out there and still do your very best and to still work from a place of good intentions and when you really work from that place of good intentions then you're really setting yourself up to receive better karma and a good karmic life and if you keep practicing your yoga and your meditation you can really clear any so-called bad karma so that you are open to receiving um, a really a much greater healthier and happier life. And I really feel that when you do step onto your yoga mat and you do the practice of even just the asana and the physical practice, and you start to develop that heat and that tapas in the body, you really start to clear yourself at a deep physical and energetic level. Um, and you're also really clearing all the energy bodies around you so that you ca can let go of deep seated karma, which um, may not be serving you so well and then you start to let go of all those layers so that you become clear and pure and open to receiving the good positive energy to create the life that you want. So as you can see I feel quite passionate about this topic and there's so much to it, there's so much to talk about when it comes to karma 
and I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts and experiences on karma and what do you believe and how has karma affected you and do you even believe in karma? Maybe you don't even believe in it um, but do let me know and I will continue to keep sharing my experiences with you whether it's through my YouTube channel um, or through other other things such as my classes um, on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So do follow me on all those platforms and we'll continue this amazing conversation. Um, but until next time, thank you for watching. Namaste. Bye.